What's up, guys? Yeah, that's right. We're doing a new, another Pokemon thing opening. Let's see what we get. All right, so we got this Pokemon uh, five pack from Costco. Let's see if it's actually any good. Uh, hopefully, it looks like it came with a lot of stuff for a pretty cheap price. So I don't know if it's because of Black Friday or not or whatever. But uh, I think I also hit it, like hit the camera hard enough to open it. So or maybe it's just really bad plastic. Yeah, I think or glue, I should say. Yeah, it's not really the best, especially looking at that. All right, so let's just get into it. Look at all that. Look at all the things we get. Look at that. Just some cards just flopping about. Movie magic. Time skip. All right, guys. So we're back, and um, I'm like genuinely impressed with this box already because Evolving Skies right now is going for about six fifty a pack, and there's six of these, so that is already thirty about thirty nine dollars. So guys, hey, um, you're going to hear me say six a lot because I don't know what the heck was going on in my head. I was not counting correctly. Uh, it's five. I know. You know. We all know. So you don't have to say anything. Ooh, later. <clears throat> for this, um, I paid 30 for the whole box. And then you've got the additional Brilliant Stars, which is going for like $379 a pack, I think. So it's like $22 or something. So you're getting like a $60 value for only, again, no you're not, you're getting a $50 value, not a 60. Ask Justin the dummy, don't listen to him, he's a liar. $30, this is like an awesome buy. Like, and look, look at all the Benaries. I mean, I mean no, not Benaries, um, Scorch Money, jeez. And you, you're getting way more than you're spending. And that's pretty cool, especially with all these. So, I mean, you're not going to probably want or need them, but they're available for you. So that's cool. So let's save those for last and let's open up the Brilliant Stars because everyone loves Brilliant Stars. We all just want that charge. Ooh, hey, my boy liked the buzz. Oh, white, nothing good. But, you know. <clears throat> Ooh, electric, damn, I should have called out the energy. Just because it's Electo Buzzo, my boy. There's my boy, put him there, it's my boy. If you didn't know, Electabuzz line and Magmar line, favorite line. Ooh, Luxray, the reverse and Rillum, don't care. But that Luxray looks pretty, pretty tight. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, he's back again. I wonder, wonder if he's gonna be the uh, <clears throat> electric energy this time. Nope, dark. Oh, whatever. All right, let's get into this. Oof. All right, if we pull the Charizard, I'm gonna lose my Ooh, reverse grammar. Mind. Nope, but that is awesome looking Garchomp. Feeling it, feeling it. Oof. I feel like it's been a while since I've opened some packs. Especially packs that actually make me excited for. Ooh, black, nice. One, two, three, four. Ooh, these cards feel weird. They have a little weird thing going on about them. Real fast, you go there. You go. Oh man, I've been also seeing a lot more Pokemon packs at the gas station, and at first I was. Ooh, Moltres, nice, nice. I was a little hesitant to buy them because the box, you know, said Lost Origin, but for some reason I got sold uh, some brilliant stars. I didn't even realize it until I walked out with the pack. I was like, whoa, what? What's happening? And I'm like, how are they getting, how are they getting these boxes? So hopefully that, because I believe, I believe you can weigh brilliant stars and Lost Origin. So people are flipping people off. Oh, I threw it. I'm back. Ripping people off by opening them and selling them to like 7 Eleven. It's low key genius and evil at the same time. So, if you're doing that, not cool. And I don't even know, I have no proof that that's happening though. So, I have not done any investigation. So, please do not take that with any like, this is what's happening. I did this, therefore I did. In any way, that was just a theory that I had and I have yet to investigate. But it's all good. All good. All right, snow run, fresh water, always gotta have water. And, blim. All right, now we're to the. Oh, no, no. Don't worry. I caught it. And the meat and the potatoes. Get the lava for that. All right. Can we pull the Umbreon? We can pull that Umbreon. Whoo! I lose ah, my mind. That would be getting great as it was. So I saw that thing peeking. Then we got trip. Nope. And. Nope. Unfortunate. All right, still got five more, guys. Five more. Actually, I'm sorry. I said five. Oh man, I was way off on my math. This is a uh, still a good pull, but you're, I think you're only actually uh, pulling. There's only saving about twenty dollars, not thirty extra. My bad, because there's actually only five, not six. I don't know where I got six from. I'm, I'm Mr. Crazy Guy over here. All right, let Leo and ooh, Galarian Moltres though. That's cool. All right, I'll take that. That is really cool. I'm always about them. Legendary birds. 
and the remakes of them. Oof, mwah, just beautiful. Just amazing. Ugh, there it is. These are like curled onto each other. All right, fighting energy. Ooh, elemental badge, that looks cool. I guess it seems like it's something for like an Eevee trainer, since it didn't have grass and electric. All right, and, oh, Hiram. Oh, shocked me so much, I dropped the card. Or Kiram, I mean, it's a like Hiram, didn't I? Anyway, all righty, top two. Oh, uh, if we pulled in the Umbreon pack. Lucky, lucky for us. All right, let's see, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Sweated. Graviary. Nuzleaf. Iskew. How do you do? Say the lie. Nick it. All right, and uh, Scott one. Scout one. Unfortunate. All right, last one, guys. Last one. Alrighty. If, uh, just fighting. All right, ooh, black pack. Is this gonna be the last pack of magic? What we're going to see is this what we're getting. Oh, little badge again. Copycat. Low leaf badge. Oh, there's something poking out. Oh my god. Is it? it looks like a full art. No way. It's trapping and being. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take it. Not, not terrible. Not amazing. But hey, it's what happens. All right, Trevenant. Thank you. All right. But before we go, since that was somewhat uneventful. Just wanted to also share two things with you guys. Um, one, we're gonna keep opening some stuff, not this, but I got something in the mail today. Yes, that's right, some robo grading. My friend covered it up, so we're gonna open one of these up again, see what we got, and um, give me one second while I go get the other thing for you. All right, I'm back, and with the other giveaway, oh, the other thing, well, it's, I bought uh, two of these, and one of them is going right into our really big giveaway. So now we got even more stuff in it. Yes, that's right. Once we reach that 1,000, or however many I said before, I feel like it's 1,000, maybe 500, don't recall. But whatever it is, whatever I said in the past, whenever we reach, that giveaway will go out, and we got some. It's going to go to one person, and it's going to be a huge one. So stay tuned. We're about to open this ATS. Okay, and we're back, and we're going to open this up, and I'm going to try and not reveal everything to you guys. Hopefully, I can do this better than I did last time. Yep, a lot more finesse this time. I'm going to put these off to the right so that you guys don't see the beauty. So, all right, the first one we have, uh, uh, I'll put them in reverse. There we go. There, there we go. All right, so first one up is that beautiful Charizard V-Star. Yes, the one from the UPC. Mm. Everyone says that these things do not grade well. And I would have to agree. They're just a little off center. But, uh, you know, doesn't seem like any visible damage. A little, little, bad little nick there, it looks like. So, hmm. Centering is a little hard, heavy on the right. So I'm going to say that this is maybe a 7 or an 8. Maybe, let's say 7.5. Oh, 8.5. What a lovely, lovely um, thing to be wrong about. <laughs> that is a really cool art style. But look at that. Just... You two fighting Charizard, and we got one of my faves over there, a little Tangrip in the background. Just hanging out, doing whatever he does, watching this like, uh, that's bad. Anyway, next one is probably going to be more, ooh, ooh, yeah, that's right, this one. This one is so cool looking. Gosh, I wish they had cut these better, because these did not come out looking so hot. Um, I mean, they look great, but they're just like little nicks and whatnot that definitely prevent these from being tens. Um, and like here you can see it's real heavy, like real thick lines here. But I'm gonna say same same thing. Maybe one moment please. Hey, sorry. My uh, little doggo right here was having some tremors whenever something happens like for a little earthquake or something, she starts freaking out and shaking out. So that's what I meant by she's going crazy. So. Or what I will mean when you see it. So sorry about that guys. My dog went a little crazy. Where was I with this? Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, so I was talking about how I hope I was a little shocked that these weren't as cut <clears throat> weren't produced as well as I'd expect them to be. Not being fully centered, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. But I guess, you know, that's fine. Anyway, um, same thing. Six. I mean six. Seven point five or eight point five? Probably seven point five or eight. Whoa, a nine? No way. Okay. Alright. Hell yeah, ADS, you're you're my you're my boy today. Okay. Alright. And the last one, the last Charizard card. 
the disappointment of the Charizard UPC. Definitely great, great art still. Oh, wait a second, hang on, hang on. Oh, that's right, he's fighting you too. No, not Venusaur. Venusaur looks pissed. I kind of wish they would have had like a, a, a Blastoise on here or somewhere. You know, one with Blastoise. But same thing with these two. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, maybe 8.5. Nine, okay, hell yeah. Another nine, I love it. I love it. So we've got 8.5 8 and 9.9. Nine. What do we got next? Alrighty. Let's look at the back first. Okay. A little, ooh, actually, not centered perfectly. It's heavy here, here. Heavy right there, a little skinny there. That's just fine. Ooh, it was the chunky boy. This one. This is a, man, I was so happy when I pulled this. Seeing red on the front with his VMAX Pikachu. No, that, so cool. All right. And gold label, what's up? Gold? What, is, what, what does that mean? Does that mean something? Because these are blue. Does that mean it's a higher number? Does that mean it's, it's I'm guessing a nine. 0.5, yes, I totally said that. I meant to say that. Okay, hell yeah. We're doing good today. All right, this one's blue, so like, this one can't be like a 9.5. So this one's either going to be, well, based on the centering first, it's gonna either be, hmm, oof, this looks real heavy here. Um, not, not the best cut. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, no, no bueno. Not good. All right, I'm thinking 8.5. Nine? Really? That? Okay, okay. You know what? I can't be mad about it. The AI knows best, right? I'm just a, a dumb human. Just a dumb human. Anyway, this was really fun. And um, I highly recommend that if anyone is going after the... Um, if you have a Costco membership, go get those because you're saving about 20 bucks on the card, it looks like, because, you know, the deal. It's only 30, you're probably pulling maybe like 40, 45, Maybe forty dollars for the whole thing in value, so you're making money, it seems, which is cool. Um, anyway, remember to like and subscribe. There's a the giveaways going on still, and um, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys take care.